In February, Congressman Peter King of New York, chairman of the House Homeland Security Committee, introduced H.R. 607, called the Broadband for First Responders Act of 2011. It has been referred to the House Energy and Commerce Committee. The bill would create a nationwide public safety broadband network. As part of that network, the bill provides for the allocation of the so-called D-block of spectrum. These are old UHF TV frequencies no longer in use, and we have no problem with that. But the bill also includes other frequencies that are to be taken and sold to commercial users. The bands to be sold at auction include the paired frequencies of 420 to 440 megahertz and 450 to 470 megahertz. 420 to 440 megahertz is most of our amateur radio 70 centimeter band. It's one of the primary bands used by amateur radio operators, and this is a major problem. The band is already used by hundreds of thousands of handy talkies, thousands of amateur radio emergency service volunteers, severe weather spotters, weak signal operators, thousands of repeater systems, mobile operators, amateur radio satellite communications, radio location beacons, amateur radio's nationwide system of digital and text communications, and more. This band is not just used for hobby activities, but is also used in the development of new radio technologies, and very important in continuing to meet our promises to provide communications for emergency groups with whom we have formal agreements. The National Public Safety Telecommunications Council shares our concerns and believes the bill needs to be amended. 420 to 440 megahertz is already being heavily used for public service operations by amateur radio operators. While the ARRL obviously supports the work of public safety organizations, we vigorously oppose H.R. 607 in its present form. As it is written, H.R. 607 is a direct threat to our limited spectrum, and we encourage ARRL members to voice opposition to this bill. Here's how you can help. Write a letter to your congressional representative but send it to ARRL's legislative consultants, Schwatt and Company. They will collect and hand deliver your letter along with our message. You can find a sample letter, the name of your representative, and where to send it for hand delivery to be sure it gets to them at www.arrl.org slash sample hyphen letters. Also, please consider donating to the ARRL Spectrum Defense Fund. Our amateur radio frequencies are precious. We cannot afford to have them taken away to be sold at auction. It's the donations from hams who care about preserving our frequencies that make our vigilance and defense of our bands possible. Don't just talk about it, do it. And please do it now.